Exposure is made of three factors, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. They are intrinsically linked, and you cannot alter one without considering the other two. The aperture determines the amount of light passing through the camera lens. It also controls the depth of field. A wide aperture lets a lot of light through and creates a shallow depth of field. Only a single point in the foreground, where I focus the camera, is sharp. I'm going to take a second picture. It's exactly the same composition, the same focal point, but I'm going to use a smaller aperture. This will massively increase the depth of field so that everything from the foreground to the background is sharp. There's another small set of rapids here. It's going to be a great place to try some shutter speed effects. Shutter speed controls how long the camera is exposed to the light for. I'm going to set the camera to shutter speed priority. And with my first shot, I'm going to use a really fast shutter speed to try and freeze the motion of the water. In my second shot, I'm going to use a much slower shutter speed. As the light has longer to come into the camera, the water and all the movement turns into a milky glass effect. This vantage point offers a great overview of the entire gorge. Ahead of me, it's quite well lit, and to the left of me, it's quite shady. But I want to maintain the same aperture and shutter speed for both sides and do it handheld. To do that, I need to increase the ISO. ISO is a measurement of the sensitivity of a camera to light. I'm going to take my first picture. Now, in order to shoot this darker area on the same settings, I'm going to increase the ISO first. Do be careful though, increasing your ISO too much can reduce image quality.